the Earth, one of a kind, a planet orbiting the sun in the Goldilocks zone of our solar system. Unique, you might think, but imagine there were multiple Earths and multiple universes, infinite universes with a finite amount of possibilities. For instance, there could be multiple Kalos in separate universes where everything is identical, but they had chosen the opposite choice of what this Kalo had, causing a butterfly effect of events. Each variation branching into separate universes where every possible thing that could happen, happens. There could be universes that are exactly the same, or almost the same, but with small differences. Universes that are vastly different, like one where we are animals or non-carbon-based life forms, and universes that can't even support life or matter as we know it. This may sound like a funny TV show, but it may be more factual than you might think. Before we get into multiple universes, you must first understand our own universe. The origin and the fact that the universe is expanding is one of the three major supports of the multiverse theory. Our universe is made up of billions of stars and galaxies rapidly expanding outward from what is known as the Big Bang. Around 14 billion years ago, there was an explosion projecting atoms outward at enormous speeds, beginning extremely hot, letting stars and galaxies form while cooling over billions of years. Alan Guth, a physicist and professor at MIT, figured out that the extreme conditions right after the Big Bang caused what is called repulsive gravity, which pushes matter outward rather than pulling it in. The force produced by repulsive gravity is so powerful that something the size of an atom would be blown up to the size of a galaxy within a billionth of a billionth of a billionth of a second. This was revolutionary as it started the inflationary theory, which made predictions that could be tested through observation. If inflationary theory held true, it would be proved just by looking at the night sky. Imagine you can get rid of all the sun's light completely, as well as all the stars. If your eyes could detect it, there would be a warm haze all around the cosmos. This radiation cloud is referred to as the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB, which is the remaining heat remnants of the Big Bang. The theory predicted a map of the universe, which showed this as speckled hot and cold spots. This idea, however, came 10 years too early, as technology was not yet able to test for the CMB. In 1989 and 2001, NASA sent up two satellites, the Cosmic Background Explorer satellite and the WMAP, respectively. They measured the radiation in the universe and set back an image almost identical to what has been predicted, thus proving the existence of inflation. A physicist named Alex Vilenkin of Tufts University took this theory to the next level by asking, does inflation stop? And if so, what happens when it does? He figured out that inflation could happen in some places and not others. He related this to the Big Bang, theorizing that not only is our Big Bang one of many, but they have been happening since before ours and probably forever after, opening the possibility of multiple universes. The collaboration of Alex Vilenkin and Andre Lindy of Stanford University popularized internal inflation, which is best described by Brian Greene as a block of cheese where the cheese is all of space and is expanding exponentially. Whenever enough energy builds up within it, it is released in the form of a big bang, causing a hole in the cheese. This happens constantly and randomly, making our universe just a hole in an ever-expanding wheel of Swiss cheese. In addition to inflation, dark energy and string theory are also major supports of multiple universes. Dark energy has baffled scientists for years because of how small the amount present in our universe is. But if you consider there to be multiple universes, all with their own amount of dark energy, 10 to the negative 155th doesn't seem so out of place. That's a decimal point with 155 zeros followed by a 1. Dark energy is a wobbly tower in that we stand at the perfect amount. If the universe has more dark energy, the expansion after the Big Bang would be too fast, not allowing stars and galaxies to form. If there was less dark energy, the universe would collapse. String theory supports multiverse theory on a molecular level. Atoms are made of protons and neutrons, as we know, but those are broken down further into quarks. Quarks are broken down even further into individual strands known as strings. Strings, based on their vibrations, make up every shape of matter. This theory requires there to be extra dimensions where the strings could bind up, forming 10 to the 500 possible ships, or one followed by 500 zeros. Even proven, the multiverse theory is hard to grasp. Multiple universes have recently started to become widely accepted, and even though inflation renders even light unable to travel between universes, the theory answers many questions in multiple fields of science that would otherwise remain unanswered.